Welcome to Chicago, we should say to you. you. Your Thank first you. time in Chicago. Yeah. What I, do you think? I, I love it. I mean, I've only been to the airport, so I only know the restaurants in the airport. Frontera is one of my favorites. Yeah, it <laughs> but that's really much it. I loved it. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have to give you like a month here because there's so much to see in our city. But yeah. I know you were performing because you're a musician as well. Yes, I was honored to perform at the Back Lot Bash, thanks to Christina and Amy. You know, it's an LGBTQ you know, community, and it's for women. And back to the community yeah. and I was just so honored to be a part of it and the rain did not stop the party. Oh, no, nice. it, <laughs> it does not because it did. The sky get clear up yes. and you were able to get it I all in. I paid for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about Orange is the New Black because uh, this show, I mean, it's been so huge and um, I know a lot of people are heartbroken. This is final season? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> no, okay, we can talk about it. No, it's it just great breaks my run, heart. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's been a great run. You know, I grew up on the show. I've become a woman on the show and just, you know, it was like a master class for me, you know, learning from the veterans and, and opened the door for all of us. And wow. now we're doing things we never imagined we could do because of, you know, everything that Orange is about. Right. Wow. Uh, when I watch that yeah. show, by the way, <laughs> it, uh, it makes me obey the law more than I ever have before. Like yes. you, thinking about the, that situation, I mean, it's, it's it's kind of frightening. Yeah, I have nightmares. Really. <laughs> yeah, I don't do know you if really? I survived. I do. Yeah, so, literally being shanked or something. Yeah. Like this ATV. You know? yeah. Well, clearly you can act. Yeah. You can sing. Which one do you prefer, music um, or acting? Well, you know they in hand, you know, um, I like to say I, I always tell the truth even when I'm not myself. You know, I tell their truth, so mm. singing is telling my own truth. So I don't know, I just, I love doing both and I, I just can't choose. Right, yeah. so what genre of music do you perform? I, I don't also like to put myself in a box, you know, my, I love to sing the blues, I love to sing yeah. the Spanish blues, <laughs> I love to sing salsa, me gusta yeah. de todo, so soy Latina, you know. How is the Spanish blues different from regular blues? Well, it's just not, it's just like a little jazzy salsa, you know, and I don't know, um, um, you know, a conga and, yes. you know, un poquito de la guira. Yo soy dominicana, so you know what I mean? I don't know anyone Latino around here. No, no, no it doesn't matter. Talk it. I have a Latina inside of oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like, you know, the, the it's just, it comes from within. So I like to, you know, use uh, my influences, you know, Etta James from Selena, from like, yeah. uh, I don't know, from anything like Tracy Chapman. I'm just, it's a. You can everything. hear it in your voice. When you talk, you can tell she's got that kind of raspy thing. You want to give Thank us a little you. something, something now? Oh, um, tú sabes lo que hace, la que te encontraste, me comparaste, nunca voy a olvidarte. Tú lo que te perdiste, mi amor pediste, luego sufriste, conexión no existe. Yes, to there all of that. <laughs> yes, to all of that. Right? You said I don't know what you said. Yes. But it sounds beautiful. Well, it's in my music video that you have right now. That's right. New, new music video, new album coming out in August. Um, and, yes. and, and is it true that you auditioned for Orange is the New Black? It was like your first audition in a long time. Yeah, six years. And well, you, I quit. You quit because why? Because, um, you know, uh, Los Angeles kind of stereotypes the, the Latina to be just one, one, mm -hmm. one part like Mexican and they don't understand that we all are look different you know Latinos we come yeah. especially the Caribbean you know we have African we yep. have indigenous we have European so we're just a mixture of a bunch right. of things that they're they're not used to seeing so I gave up and I focused on my music which brought me back to New York where I was born Queens and um, and then I, I missed it and, and um, Flaca was my first audition Wow. Yeah, two yeah. lines. <laughs> two lines. Yeah. So it was supposed so, to be one episode, and they were like, episode. hey, you got to come back. And they're like, hey, maybe yeah. come back in the next day. And yeah, no, they didn't know. Like, it was Survivor in there. Like, all of us are like, who's staying? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. And then seven years later, we, we like, made a history. <laughs> so it's wow. awesome. Is it On gonna, Netflix. Is it going to be really emotional for you to say goodbye to your character? I'm sure it is. Well, of course. Like, um, I told you, she's so ambitious, and um, she she's so positive, and always looking at the, you know, the, 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 light even in a dark place so i don't know i've grown a lot with her and she was so confident she made me confident so yeah i'm, I'm just it's gonna be really sad and when we were filming they were filming um also behind the scenes and it felt like this season no one was really acting it was just so like real real yeah, yeah. I, know, I know that hits close to home for you too because you've shared your story i yes. mean all of your success almost didn't happen because of a car accident right right and when i was a teenager i moved out 
you know, and I was being a rebel and um, I was homeless at the time and at living in a car. And um, we were on our way to a Wango Tango concert because we got free tickets online mm -hmm. and she was uh, going too fast and I, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt and I, and I flew out the car. Oh my God. Yeah, so I had brain surgery and I was in a coma for 72 hours and I had to learn how to walk talk and um and be here <laughs> wow. Wow. does it give yes. you newfound appreciation for life yeah no like um i feel like there's not there's you know a part of uh everyone has a story but when you survive something and something like that where like i literally died and came back like the world is so different and i'm here for a reason yep. and i know what it's for you have yeah. a purpose yeah Tell us what's on the horizon for you. Well, I started my own production company called Unspoken Film. And, um, you know, since, you know, uh, Hollywood is still stereotypical when it comes to Latin, you know, the community, I wanted to go in the back door and, you know, uh, create opportunities when it comes to writing, directing, and all that stuff for the underrepresented person like myself. Awesome. So my short uh, is called The Dying Kind, and it was um, seen at Gina Davis Festival in Bentonville, and I got people interested, and now right. they're going to give me money to create my own production. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Yes. I'm going to hire my people. Good. That's what it's for. Yes. Very, very nice. All the best to you. Thank you for stopping by. Yes. Enjoy Chicago. Thank you. The <laughs> final season of Orange is the New Black Drops on July 26th on Netflix. Be sure to check it out.